Now that we've learned a little bit about what the PSAT is and why you should take it, let's take a closer look at the PSAT itself. The PSAT is basically a shorter version of the SAT. The SAT takes three hours and 45 minutes, and with the PSAT, you'll only be testing for two hours and 10 minutes. The PSAT has five sections, two critical reading sections, two math sections, and one writing section. The two critical reading sections are each 25 minutes. In these critical reading sections, you'll see a variety of question types. You'll see some passage-based questions, and you'll also see some sentence completion questions that really test your vocabulary. In the two 25-minute math sections, you'll see two question types. You'll see multiple choice, and you'll also see grid in questions. Now, the PSAT actually doesn't test Algebra 2 concepts. Those will be tested on the SAT, but not the PSAT. Instead, they'll test your math reasoning, some pre-algebra, algebra, and geometry. In the PSAT, you'll also have one writing section. Unlike the SAT, the PSAT writing section doesn't require you to take an essay. Instead, you'll have all multiple choice questions for three question types. You'll have a question type called identifying errors. You'll have a question type that will ask you to improve sentences and another question type that will ask you to improve paragraphs. Like I said, you'll see all these types of questions on the SAT. You'll also see them on the PSAT, but the PSAT is just a shorter version of the SAT with fewer questions.